We are 52 days away from the start of winter and tonight we are taking a look at what you can expect. Will it be a warm winter for short sleeves perhaps or should we prepare to dig out of snowstorms? Chief Meteorologist Todd Howe gives us the details in the official winter weather outlook. This past year continued a trend that we've seen the last two years warmer than average temperatures. As a result, we saw below average snowfall again last winter. This winter season? While near average temperatures are being forecast, we do have the potential to see a little more precipitation than average due to an active southern branch of the jet stream. So, compared to the last two winters, which saw only half of our normal snowfall, we're expecting a little more this year. One of the reasons we could see a little bit more snowfall this year compared to the last two years is due to the forecast for a weak El Nino to develop. During an El Nino, the southern branch of the jet stream becomes more active across the southern U.S., allowing for greater chances for precipitation. Now, whether that falls in the form of rain or snow, of course, all depends on the air temperature, but higher frequency for precipitation can mean higher chances for wintry weather during an El Nino. So with the weak El Nino being forecast, our winter temperatures are expected to be close to average. And overall, a little above average precipitation is expected this winter season. Our favorite time for snow, as usual, will be from January through mid-February. But keep in mind, our snow chances can often extend into March just before the arrival of spring. Based on these factors, near to slightly above average snowfall is being forecast in our region. Here in the valley, five to nine inches of snow is being forecast. Our average is 6.5 inches. For the Cumberland Plateau region, including Kentucky and Virginia, 10 to 15 inches of snow is being forecast. The average is 11.5. And for the lower elevation Smokies, 15 to 20 inches of snow is being forecast this winter. So a near average winter season is expected for both temperature and snowfall. But keep in mind, amounts can vary widely from point to point, even within the same region. So the key is to always be prepared and stay weather alert when snow is in the forecast. Well, thanks for the education, Todd. And you yeah. were saying last year did not meet the forecast. Yeah, 2.6 inches last year. Again, our average 6.5 and the year before 2.3. Four years ago, over 11 inches. Oh. So the last two winters, not much. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to be closer to average, maybe a little bit above this winter. All right. Todd, thank you. You're welcome. President Don